y'all. It's Tennessee Nikki. Happy Thursday, and y'all know it's football night. But yeah, y'all, today, y'all, we're going to make cracked chicken. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what I said, cracked chicken in the crock pot. So look, y'all, you can put this in your crock pot before you go to work. By the time you get home from work, your dinner already done. J just that easy. And it's real quick, y'all. This is what I got. I got like two pounds of skinless, boneless chicken thighs. Uh, you can use chicken breast. Get you about three chicken breasts. That's enough. And then what you're going to do is get you about two packs of this ranch seasoning. We're going to pour that in there. Pour that over the chicken. Gonna pour that second pack in there. Then you're gonna need 16 ounces of cream cheese. Take the first one out, that eight ounces right there, and you're gonna take that second one out. Put that on there. Hold on, I'm gonna rest my hands. And then you just do this. I mean, come on now. You can't do that before you go to work. You can't do this before you go to work and turn that thing on, girl. Turn it on. By the time you get back, I'm going to tell you what to do. You know, we got to shred this thing up when it gets, you know, cooked good and stuff. Cooked all the way through. We're going to shred that meat up. Then we're going to add some bacon. And we're going to top it off with some cheese. I'm going to tell you what to do when I come back. Be right back. Y'all, I did say I'll come right back. I ain't mean that quick. But I think I failed to tell y'all, cook this on low for about seven, eight hours. Then you're going to be ready. Now this time, wait till I get back to tell you the rest. Okay, y'all, I'm back and the chicken is ready. Okay, usually people take like some forks or something and kind of shred the chicken up. But I'm going to use a little trick and use my mixer <laughs> and you can get off in that bowl I mean, in that crock pot just turn it on and it helps shred up the chicken it just shreds the chicken up a whole lot easier and that's it okay then what you're going to do you're gonna put some bacon in that thing. You're gonna put some bacon in it. Okay? Put some bacon in them. Then, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put in some green chopped onions. Put that in now. Okay? We're just gonna stir it in. Stir that together. Stir that together. See, dinner already made, girl. Dinner already made. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, put some shredded cheese on top. Well, I'm going to fold some in. And then I'm going to put some on top and let it melt. I'm on top and then I'm just going to let it melt for a little bit and I'm going to show y'all how it look when it's finished okay what I'm going to do y'all I'm going to put it on a, a bun and let y'all see it but with this dish y'all y'all can make you can use some chips with it you can put it over some rice you can put it in a baked potato it's so many things you can do with this dish y'all just get creative with it but I'm going to show you how mine look with a bun, okay? I'll be back when this cheese get all melted and stuff, okay? Be right back. Hey, y'all. I'm back. Okay, y'all. Take a look at this cracked chicken. Here you go. Look at her. Look at her. That crack, crack. Yes, baby. Cracked chicken. 
Don't she look cute? Yes, mama. And it was fast. Like I said, you could throw that in before you go to work. By the time you get home, you got a dinner. You feel me? But look, y'all. You can, like, put this on some chips. Like I said, you can put it on a baked potato. You can put it on top of some mashed potatoes. On some rice. However you want to float your boat. You can use this cracked chicken to your advantage. You hear me? Okay. But, y'all, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this content. Please like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends and family. Y'all stay safe. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all again next time. Bye-bye.